Hello, my name is Nevis and I'm here in the Getting Acquainted Week 1 of the IATEFL YLT SIG EVO 15, Teaching EFL to Young Learners EVO 15. So one of the forums asked about the profile picture and how do we get a profile picture up. These ones, for example, are the Moodle icons. So We'll go and have a look quickly at how we can do that in this quick tutorial. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down until I see the navigation bar over here on the left and there's my profile. So all I'm going to do is click on my profile and then go down and this should be okay I'll say view profile and then once I'm in here I should be able to edit profile so there's my badge for the Moodle MOOC 5 these, what, these are what badges would look like so they'll show up on your profile once you've completed um, your short bio, birth date, etc. Okay, and this is my photo. Now, if I want to change that, I need to actually click on Edit Profile. So, one of the things to remember is that there is no Photoshop type editor on um, Moodle. So you're really going to have to edit your photos before you actually bring them in, especially if you want to uh, crop them, etc. Now, um, some of you are thinking, what is this? Some of you may know, some of you may not. If you come from England, you'll have Marmite. In Australia, we have Vegemite. And um, it's not everybody's taste, but I like it. Anyway, let's go down. This is the profile picture, user picture or profile photograph. So if I click on it, it'll show Gravatar has been enabled for this site. If you don't upload a profile picture, Moodle will attempt to load a profile picture for you from Gravatar. Now Gravatar means that if you have a public Gravatar, um, you, it'll sometimes upload it or sometimes not or you can actually just choose it. Now if I want to change this picture what I have to do is if I click on here it'll explain help with the new picture so if I just click on it just to show you what it says to add a new picture browse and select an image uh, in JPEG format or PNG format then click update profile the image will then be cropped to a square and resized to look at this 100 by 100 pixels that is really really small I'll show you on my word page here so this is a normal profile picture and this is the 100 by 100 so you can see what happens what you may want to do is if you have a drawing um, program, I use PicPic, you may want to create a 100 by 100 measure and you can use Word if you like um, and then all you need to do is this and that's basically now, am I am trying to put this over to get it exact, but that's about basically the 100, if I get this and it. Yeah, so it covers it. So that's 100 by 100 pixels now. Now if I want to use this photograph I can save it in my uh, files and then go and choose it to change the photo. I'm not going to do that right now if I can find my Moodle page. Again, here we are. So I'm going to turn this off. And how do I add, how do I actually change it? I click on this icon. If you click, if you just hover over it, hover over it, it'll, it'll show add, and that means that it's ready to now add uh, a file. So um, 
you can upload a file you have a, I've got some recent pictures that I've used in the Moodle forums just to play around and I can upload a file there's all these to choose from you can also if you have Google Drive uh, go to Google Drive if you have a public flick, Flickr account uh, Poodle snapshots you can actually take a snap, snapshot I'll show you that in a minute anyway I'll go and choose the file and of course it opens up on the wrong page there and where's the 100 by 100 Nevis Red Mini that's the new one that is now 100 by 100 pixels save as um, new image I may as well just change it while I'm here nothing oh wait a minute Nevis new ID that'll do uh, creative commons I suppose but um, I'm just going to put all rights reserved being that it's a photo of me upload this file and there it is and that's going to be the new profile photo okay um, and all I have to do then is go down as you would on any forum and just click on update profile and pretty soon and there you go it's done quite easy okay so and also I've accidentally showed you as well where the badges are and basically it's just on your profile so when you go to view my profile which is this page anyway but I'm just going to do it again um, it you just scroll down and your badges will show up here and, and they'll be um, the badges see this is the first badge you get a badge for your profile filling in your profile and then uh, there, there are badges for like week one two three four and five four four weeks sorry uh, this was the only one I got for the middle week four, five I'm embarrassed to show you but that's life okay that's it see you next time this is Nevis signing off